Hey there, welcome to my curls. I am packing for vacation today and I am so excited I can barely stand it. So we're leaving in a couple days and so I needed to start getting stuff together. I wanted to share that with you. I thought it would be fun. I have some pretty interesting things that I take with me on vacation, some things that I absolutely love. And if you are somebody who travels, I think you're gonna need some of these things. So I wanted to share them with you. One note before I get started. Y'all, my hair, like, I don't know. My hair is not great today. This is three day hair. After I film this video, Brecken and I have to run out and do some errands and we are taking Pollux to the dog park. <sighs> this is our first trip to the park. I think it's gonna take two of us, but I want him to be, to, to just run free. So we're gonna take him to the park it's really cold outside today and it's kind of gloomy, but the weather's gonna get really bad tomorrow and so this is our only chance. So I did not wanna wash my hair and get all fixed up. So I tried this like refresh method, something new that I saw somebody on, on YouTube doing and it made my hair really weird. It made it almost, it looks wet, but it's not wet. It is the product in there and I don't like it at all. So I put on this headband. Anyway, let me show you what I'm taking on my vacation. And if you all watched my video, 25 Things About Me, I'll link it right up here. I told you that we're heading on our big vacation, but I didn't tell you where we're going. And I'm not gonna tell you in this video either. That is a secret. When I get back, I will share videos with you all about where we were and what we did while we were away. But I'm gonna give you some hints in this video. Hint number one, we need a passport. And I got Randy these passport books for our anniversary a couple years ago. I love these books. They are super soft leather. And when you open them up, our name is inside and it holds our passport. You have all these pockets you can hold like your immigration paperwork, your luggage tags, your boarding passes. These come in so handy. And then I've got mine too with my name in it. So we, we have to have a passport where we're going. These little passport covers and matching luggage tags. Can you see that? I got a matching luggage tag for all of our pieces of luggage. I got them from um, a little shop on Etsy and the name of the Etsy shop is Mrs. My Lori. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of the, the page here because it's a little bit confusing. And I will also put a, a link to this Etsy page in the description box. But these are, I love these things. You get one passport book and one luggage tag for $35. So of course I bought two sets, one for each of us. And these things are fantastic and they would make a great gift for your hubby or for your guy or for yourself. They're so handy, y'all, I love these. So we need a passport. The second thing we need is foreign currency. I don't want you to see what this is, but we need coins and we need paper bills foreign currency. And so I don't like to wait until I get into this other country to exchange our money because honestly, it's a hassle. There's always a line at the airport. They want to charge you huge fees. I always go to our local bank here at home and they order foreign currency for me and then I just have it. We I exchange everything that I need and so we have all of this cash. Ran into a little snafu this year. Okay, little snafu. The way that the bank orders the foreign currency for us, that, that website or whatever they use apparently got hacked over a week ago and so this entity took down the website. The company that they used to order the foreign currency from was hacked. And this company shut down their ordering services. They've been down for like two weeks and they're not gonna be back up by the time we leave for our trip. So, mm, unfortunate. I'm gonna have to take US dollars with me and just exchange at the airport, which I hate, hate to do, but I don't have a choice. So here's a little fun fact. 
Craving the Curls has almost, I think, 13,000 followers on social media. We always do several fun things during the winter months when we're closed to just kind of stay engaged with our customers. And so pretty much everybody knows that during our winter break, Randy and I go on vacation. And so I am gonna take with me on our trip two Craving the Curls ice cream cups and I'm gonna post a picture of us near like a famous icon from where we're gonna be showing our Craving the Curls cups. And I think I'm gonna do some sort of little contest like the first five people who comment on this picture and can tell us exactly where we are wins a gift certificate for a free ice cream or something of that sort. But I'm taking my cups and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get them carefully packed in our suitcase because they're going overseas with us. So this will be a fun little game for our Craving the Curls fans. And did you know that you can load your passport onto the My Mobile Passport app? And when you're coming back into the United States, you can just basically skip the lines, go right up to the mobile kiosk, scan your passport, all of your travel information's already loaded, and you just get right through. And when we normally land back in the US, the line is forever. But when you have the My Mobile Passport app, you just go right to the front of the line. All of the paperwork that you need to get in and out of that other country, did you know that most countries now have all of that paperwork? online. You can you can find it online. You can fill out your customs and immigration paperwork, your tourist declaration paperwork, whatever is needed for the country you're going to. You can normally find it online, fill it out in advance, and so you don't have to wait in those long lines and you're not filling out paperwork on the airplane as you're landing. So this is a huge, huge time saver and a super secret tip. Here's the next big hint. When we go on our trip, we are taking loads and loads of sunscreen. That means we're going to the beach. We are going somewhere warm. Y'all, Randy and I are huge beach bums. I can spend my entire day, six hours a day, sitting on the beach. I absolutely love it, and he is the exact same way. He is the best beach buddy. We sit there, we soak in the sun, we have lunch on the beach, we drink on the beach, we go on walks. I love like late afternoon on the beach. It's one of my favorite times of the day. But we take tons and tons of sunscreen. I have face sunscreen, body sunscreen. I have chapstick with sunscreen and then I have a special sunscreen stick that I keep on my nose. My nose always gets scorched and because where we're going is so far south, and my body has not seen sun since like October, my nose will cook and crisp up like in a minute. So I have to keep this 50 like oily stuff on my nose always. So I always have all of my sunscreen in my beach bag. Something super important, if y'all have never thought about this, next time you get on an airplane, take a package of wet wipes. One of the dirtiest places on an airplane is that little pull down tray. And I know everybody does it. The minute you sit in your seat, you pull down the tray. It is covered in germs and bacteria, y'all. I, like, I don't even wanna think about how nasty it is. So I always travel with a package of these. I clean off the arms on my airplane seat and that little tray thingy and I get everything clean. This is a big clue to where we're going. Sandals. Let me tell you something. The city that we go to is in the mountains. It is rough terrain. They have cobblestone streets. We walk everywhere that we go. We do not take taxis. We don't, I don't even know if Uber exists there, but we, we walk everywhere we go and it is some tough stuff. You are walking up hills like this, no joke. Like I'm, you're leaning like this to get up the hill and I will show you all when I get back. I will make a video and show you the hills we have to climb when we're in this city. You cannot even think about wearing fancy shoes or heels. Not happening, y'all. You gotta have flat, 
comfortable shoes to walk in the city. And of course, I'm taking my Kindle. It's dead. I got to charge it. But I'm going to load up my Kindle with all the books I'm going to read on the beach. I love to read on the beach. And after I decide what I'm going to take, I will share that with you all when I get home. Because if you're looking for a good book, I'll let you know if I've read some that are great or eh, not so great. But yeah, got to take my Kindle. I got all my bathing suits out. This is the majority of what I need. I spend every single day in a bathing suit. My JBL Flip goes in my suitcase. This little speaker kicks booty. And when we go to the beach every day, we take this in our beach bag so we always have music on the beach. My JBL Flip has got to go with us. I take two beach towels, which we rent a condo while we're there. We, I'm not, I don't stay in a hotel. We actually rent a private condo. And if y'all have not ever done that, you can get so much more for your money by renting a private condo than you can by staying in a hotel. That's a whole nother video. I'm not even going to get into that. But we always stay in a condo that has a washer and dryer. And it just seems like the ta there's never a proper beach towel there. There's bath towels, but not beach towels. And so we always take a beach towel and wash it if we need it. And I have even been known at the end of the trip to throw away the beach towels. Like, don't even bring them back. We take our oldest beach towels because every year I get some new ones for our pool. So we take the old beach towels. So I don't feel so bad if I have to throw them away because beach towels actually weigh a lot. And you have that 50 pound limit per piece of luggage for the airline. And so if they're dirty and I haven't had time to wash them and they're yucky, then I just throw them out and I don't feel bad about it. The things I still have to do, I have to paint my toenails, I have to paint my fingernails. I always like to confirm our airline tickets and our condo reservations. I keep a list of places that we love to eat and new places that we want to go. I keep that list on my phone and I will show you all, I promise, all of the fabulous food that we have while we're there. And the last thing we have to do is touch base with our friends. Y'all, we have friends there, which is just, I think, the coolest thing. We've been going there for so many years that we have actually made friends there. Our friends are from Canada, and we all kind of show up back in the city at the same time every year. So this year, we are going on a food tour with one set of friends, and we're having dinner with another set of friends. So I just think that is so cool to know that I go to another country I know people. I have friends. And we stay in touch. We talk on Facebook throughout the year. And it's just super special. So I will introduce you all to them while we're there. And we love to go on food tours. We do a different kind of food tour every single time we go. We've done... Well, I can't tell you because that would tell you where we're going, but we've done street food tours. We have done craft beer tours. We've done cocktail tours. Um, this year, we're doing a tour where we are, well, I can't tell you because that would give it away. <laughs> But anyway, I will film all of that, and it's one of the most exciting things we do while we're there. We love food tours. So I still got to get out all my clothes. It's hot where we go. I got to get out all of my little dresses, my shorts, my tank tops, my sandals, bathing suits, cover-ups, and that is really all I need. Then I got to get Randy to pack. He is the worst packer. I'm a... I'm a minimal packer. I take only what I need because my thoughts there are, my thoughts are, we have a washer and dryer. If something gets dirty and I need it, I'll wash it. He is the exact opposite. He will take double what he needs. It is beyond me. He will not even wear half of it, y'all. It's crazy. I do not need to take any winter clothes. Oh, let me tell you what I do. We take off here and it's freezing cold. But when we land where we're going, it is super hot. Every single day there is like 85 and sunny. It is perfect weather. So I would just burn up. I'm gonna freeze on the plane, but I'm gonna burn up when I land, even in the airport, like I can't stand it. So I take a change of clothes in my carry-on bag and about 
30, 45 minutes before we land, I sneak into the bathroom and I change my clothes and I put on my sandals. So as soon as we land and we get off that plane, I'm cool. I'm perfect. It looks like I belong there. I can't wait to show it to you all. And I wish that I could tell you where I'm going. I really, really, I really want to tell you where I'm going, but I can't. I think it's more fun this way if you get to see it for yourself. So where do you think we're going? Leave it in the comment section below. Don't give me the country. Countries, that's big. See if you can be more precise. What city and what country are we going to? All right, guys, I got to get Pollux to the dog park before it starts raining. I have a window of like an hour and a half where the weather's acceptable and we're going to go just let him run it out. So I'll see ya.